I got into this work after a tour of the Texas prison system back in 2004. I was just wondering what would happen if drug dealers and gang leaders were equipped to go legit with their business skills. At the age of 27, I founded Prison Entrepreneurship Program in Texas, but I've always dreamt of creating a nationally scalable organization to bring healing and economic opportunities to the 92 million Americans who are permanently handicapped by their criminal histories. I know I've been blessed with many second chances myself and defies my way of meeting an underserved need in America. Defy is a second program I've started, and I've now seen how successful our methodology has been with more than a thousand people with criminal histories. We succeed in equipping formerly incarcerated men and women who are deeply committed to personal transformation with the skills to become respected entrepreneurs, employers, parents, and community leaders. So now we're scaling nationally. We need three and a half million dollars over two years to serve a thousand more people. We need philanthropists, executives, investors, and faith-based communities that are willing to commit themselves to being a part of the solution to the incarceration crisis. Without a doubt, our greatest points of leverage lie with our partnerships, collaborations, executive volunteers, and highly motivated staff. It's a willingness of CEOs and business professionals to mentor our entrepreneurs, and judge our business plan competitions and the local not-for-profits, faith-based organizations and staff that help us to recruit our entrepreneurs. It's our holistic approach that allows us to offer effective solutions to our entrepreneurs. We don't just provide training. Our emphasis is on opening doors that create real life transforming opportunities. We teach entrepreneurship and we run these business plan competitions, but we also provide executive mentoring, incubation, and financing for their companies. We provide employment training, but more importantly, we actually recruit employers and place our entrepreneurs in jobs. We also place a heavy emphasis on soft skills training and character development. Through our Family Love Services program, we host events for our Defy kids so parents have the opportunity to really make their families proud. Recidivism rates are the standard bar of measurement in our industry, and at Defy, our recidivism rate is less than 5%, but we aim for far more than just keeping people out of prison. Our employment rate is 87%. Our grads reported a 94% increase in income with Defy. We do this by recruiting supporters, and we've recruited more than 2,000 of them who contributed 11,000 volunteer hours and provided economic opportunities for our entrepreneurs. People often think that at Defy that we're in the second chance business simply because we're giving an opportunity to people who were formerly incarcerated. I say that we're in the business of providing first legitimate chances. 70% of our entrepreneurs grew up in total poverty. 90% of them had a family member who was in jail. Nearly all of them were abused and half were homeless at some point in their childhoods. I do realize that they still made the choices to commit criminal activity. But once they serve their time, I wish society would be truly willing to offer them a fresh start. We've achieved industry-leading results in recidivism, employment, and entrepreneurship. We've recruited some of America's top thought leaders and business minds to become advocates. We've been showcased in Richard Branson's blog, The New York Times, Inc. Magazine, Forbes.com, and the Harvard Business Review. So now we're expanding nationally. We're building an online training program that shows all the promise of becoming financially self-sustaining with a train the trainer component to equip local leaders nationally. I truly believe that this is going to change the world. Overcoming fear and stigmas is our biggest challenge. For one, people are scared of the stereotypes of the people that we serve. 
It's also hard to raise funding for our work when we compete with these causes that can seem more compelling to donors. And also, it's hard to convince employers to take a chance on people with criminal histories. We do manage to overcome these challenges, but it just doesn't come that easily. We're building a truly scalable model based on our success in New York City by leveraging technology to create opportunities in the most underserved communities in America. What we've been doing has been working locally, so now we're using technology to build a scalable platform that will bring these healing and economic opportunities to people with criminal histories all throughout America and maybe one day throughout the world. We're reversing legacies of crime, violence, drug abuse, and incarceration. And with the right funding, we'll reach our goals and transform lives much faster. Although our leadership has created solutions that have led to industry-leading results, it took us nine years to serve a 1,000 graduates at a high cost per head. Nearly one-third of U.S. adults have criminal records. There's just a lack of quality training for them, and even more importantly, a lack of economic opportunities. So by scaling our well-tested methodology and launching it on a platform that's accessible nationwide, we have the potential to impact millions of people and their families and to do so in a way that will be financially sustainable, even as a nonprofit.